I got a question. Yeah. Serious question. How are you able to give all of this away? I was privileged. Are you privileged? If your immediate reaction to the question is, no, of course not, then I think you need a perspective change because I think we're all privileged, but right now it's just a trigger word in society. Let me read you the definition of privilege. A special right, advantage, or immunity granted or available only to a specific or particular person or group. Now some people are much more privileged than others, right? I mean, let's take the simple reason that the word is such a trigger word right now, race. Because some people are privileged in society based solely on the color of their skin. Like me, some of us are pasty white. And although I'm not here to specifically just talk about white privilege, that is one of the privileges in this world. And if you don't believe so, riddle me this one. How do white people come to the Americas and then be identified as American. You come here from Africa, you're African American. You come here from India, you're Indian American. Or wait, is that Native American? I'm not sure. Either way, if you're white in America, you're American, not Euro-American. But the native people to this land are Native Americans. So confusing. And now along with the white privilege, I've been so privileged in many other ways in my life. Not to say that I haven't been through struggles, but like I said, it's a perspective, right? I grew up in a trailer where I went back and forth between parents. They were never married. My mom was a drug addict. My dad was an alcoholic. When I was 20 years old, my father killed himself. Like life isn't fair, but I've been privileged beyond belief. I mean, even if I just take this summer, for example, this summer, due to some of the friendships that I had growing up, I was literally able to work a summer job for five months and make 50 grand. That was more than my dad ever made in one entire year in his entire life. Like that is such a privilege in my life and I can't ignore that. So it leaves me with a few thoughts. What do I do with that privilege? What do we do with our privilege as people? Do we stack it up and focus on ourselves? Yeah, a little bit. So what is a little bit and what do we do with the rest? I'm not sure and I don't know if there's an equation, but to me the word privilege means that there is excess, there's extra, something that I don't need. So I'm gonna take some of that stuff that I don't need and give it to somebody else who could really benefit from having it. Maybe even take them out of a place that they were unfortunately and unfairly put in life and help push them and advance them in a way that they wouldn't have without it. Man, just went to your page now, bro. These algorithms suck, bro. None of this stuff hits my timeline, bro. None of this stuff hits my timeline. I ain't know you had a song with Jake Ma T. I ain't none of that, bro. This these algorithms are trash. For me, in my story, there are people who undoubtedly gave me things and gave me advancements in life that without them, I wouldn't be where I am today. One that comes to mind is a high school football coach. He called me after my first fall semester in college because I quit playing football. And he called me and told me that I wanna help you go back after it. I wanna help you try to play football again. This particular coach was incredibly gifted, incredibly fortunate with his physique and everything that he played in the NFL. He played for the New England Patriots and he was privileged. He had access and he looked to me and turned to me and said, hey, I want to give you some of my extra. And it advanced me in life to a point that I wouldn't have gotten without it in that amount of time. So what you doing, recording, doing what? Yeah, I'm bringing by a camera. This is the front office right now? For now. That's crazy. Ain't it? Hey, times is different, ain't it? What? So you security then, or? Yeah, I just kept his monitor, dude. Okay. I've been home for the whole time up until two weeks ago. They decided, hey, man, we tired of paying you to be home. <laughs> That's the thing is, I like, I'd rather do be in the fresh air, what have you, because you can only play video games for so long, dude. <laughs> That's all I've been doing. Messing up my fucking <laughs> thun. I think I messed you up a tendon. I think I messed up a tendon on the last golf game I was playing. <laughs> I, I've been playing baseball, but sometimes 
when you playing so much, you need to change it up. Oh yeah. So I stuck in the golf game. But the golf requires you to take your thumb to go in a different direction, <laughs> right? And when I did that, I think I pulled a tendon. <laughs> oh, I was like, I can't believe it. I'm all right to come in. Yeah. Right. Sure. I mean, you need to sign in. One of y'all there? Yeah. Well, come check this thing out, man. It's literally like I was playing Mario Kart and hit one of the little fast forward things. <laughs> so today, I'm downtown in Sacramento at a local high school. That's a more socioeconomically challenged area. And we're gonna give away some camera equipment to a local high school kid that was selected by the counselors at the high school as a kid who could use it, who could need it, and uh, wouldn't be able to get it from home. And I'm juiced to meet him and hopefully just bless this kid. And potentially the whole program. We have some other goods here, but shh. They don't know about that yet. It's hot back here. Get me out of the back seat. I can't control the AC from back here. So now that you got the tools, yeah. dude, take off. Uh -huh. And if you need something, holler at me. I got you. If you need an accessory, you don't have it. I'll let uh -huh. you borrow what I have. It's not a problem. But make sure you make something happen with that, dude. Don't, 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 don't shirk off this gift, dude. Uh -huh. Don't do that. And this is the reason why I talk to these youngsters, because a lot of them don't realize that one chance choice that I made could have changed the whole life. For sure. You know, and I got a lot of friends that are from this area, and I'm not from here, but I hung out in this area. Yeah. Got a lot of friends from here that are either dead or never coming out of prison. Yeah, that's real. Just from them decisions. No, no, that girl's over there. What you say, boo? Ah, yeah, yeah, what's up, baby? Woo! Forever. Ain't no more baby. Baby is bubbling now. <laughs> Baby, I don't know what it is, but I just <laughs> well, I hey, I'll give you a hug, damn, damn. but you know, yeah, coronavirus, you too, bro. I'm glad you drove them, yeah, I'm glad you guys came out. I think it's a lot for the camera, yeah, yeah for honestly. Sure. I, I'm actually kind of glad I drove them. This is really cool, dude, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey. How'd this experience change so, your life, man? Uh, I was gonna actually drop out of college because uh, I was like, I'm not feeling it. You know, there was I wasn't inspired, you know? And yeah. I was gonna do animation, but honestly, after today, like a lot of the talking and stuff, I, I kind of want to give it like like a, like a longer, like go.